Good evening and welcome to Dream Tour Tuesday where we visit other people's islands because I can't bear the sight of my own. This week we're visiting an island called Goo Lagoon by Scoops ACNH. Judging from the name of the island alone, you can already imply that this is based on SpongeBob SquarePants. Hopefully I can catch all these SpongeBob references because if not, then I'm a fake SpongeBob fan. Oh my god, that is amazing. Look at the flag! It's the little captain painting from the intro. Oh, this is so sick, dude. I love Spongebob. I'm gonna have a blast going through this island. What is on the bulletin board, if there's any? Hi there, welcome to Goo Lagoon. I spent over a thousand plus hours of work creating it. There are 35 specific references, scenes, and details all together. I hope you enjoy. If you take any photos, I would love to see them. You can follow and tag me, Scoop ACNH, on Twitter or Insta. Yo, I'm so hype. I already saw the painting and I'm like full on excited. So before we do anything else, actually, let's go ahead and check out the map and see what you got going on here. It would have been cool if you had some, uh, the octopus villagers. That would have been really cool and fitting. But let's go ahead and look around and see what you got here. So you got some boba, yellow balloon, yellow balloon, tweeter. Let's forget all that and just look around and see what we got here. Just a friendly little welcome area. Enjoy your stay. I love it. I gotta see if I can understand all these references. Uh, I'm trying to see. I'm trying not to miss anything. This is a cafe here. <gasps> oh, Doodle Bob. Oh, that is so sick. I love this. I need to take that. If there's like a creator code for that, I want it. And he has a magic pencil. That is so sick. I love it. Oh my God. So we got a little bar over here. Oh, this is Weenie Hut Juniors. That is so, I will take a, what's it called? Triple Weenie Supreme, pause. <laughs> this is Super Weenie Hut Juniors, I'm gonna assume. This is really good, man. I love this. We got a little arcade area here. I don't remember exactly what... Was there arcade in the Spongebob episodes or anything? I don't remember. Is that Bubble Buddy? Oh, this is so good. Y'all, I love Spongebob, so y'all are gonna hear me like get super hyped during this. We got Goo Lagoon! I love that. Oh my god, that's a cardboard cutout. Oh, that is so good. I love this. I forgot they added those in this game. Look at that! They got little jellyfishing books right here. That is so sick. Y'all, I am at a loss of words right now. The free balloon stand. Oh my god. I'm remembering all these. The sandcastle episode. Bro, all these flowers in the sand. I love it, man. I love it. This is so sick. I love every single moment. I love everything about this, y'all. Apple cider. I don't remember that reference, if it is one. Oh my god, the soda drinking hat. Oh crap, he took the hat, but the little straw from the glasses are still there apparently. That is dope. I am just at a loss of words here. Is this supposed to be Glow World? I have no idea. Oh! Oh my god, the Krusty Krab is right here. Oh my god. Oh, should we go inside? I kind of want to check out everything outside first, but you know what? Let's go in there. You can't have a SpongeBob themed island without a Crested Crab. You can't. You just can't. Bro, this is so sick! Honestly, it's spot on. I think this was made before 2.0. I don't know if that's correct or not. But I think they have like burger items now, so you can make a more uh, 
you could put like more accurate food items here, but this is spot on. Like the tables, they look almost exactly the same. The walling, I mean, I said the wall looks good. Oh man, it looks like an actual ship right now. That is so sick. Are there like anything else in these rooms? I think Mr. Krabs' office is here. That's what I assume is right here. Oh my god, you... <laughs> There's no way. That is clever. This is the best island I've ever seen in my life. You got the trophies, you got the little safe with the uh, secret formula in there. Incredible. So I think the back area is supposed to be like the kitchen where Spongebob cooks and all that and... The side might be the bathroom? I have no idea. I think it's the bathrooms. Yeah, it's the little stalls. <laughs> That's amazing. That is great. I'm just at a loss of words. Like, this is the best island I've ever seen. This is just phenomenal. Alright, let's go check out the kitchen. Yo, they got the little barrel things. And then the dishes. Oh my god. The grill. You got the little condiments right here. This is just amazing. You got the little cooler thing right here. Side fridge. I don't know. I can't really open it, but... Outstanding. So I wonder what's uh, in the upstairs and downstairs. Let's go downstairs. I don't know what they could have put there. Oh, there's no downstairs. There is an up area, though. Oh. Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I know this is like a formal area, but I'm trying to think back. There was an episode where they fancied up the Krusty Krab. I don't remember exactly which one, though. This looks great, though. I love the little uh, clam fountain thing you got going on there. Look at that. This is just beautiful. I love this. See, I need to give me, like, a second switch so I can just make, like, themed islands and then never touch them again. I just dream address them and... Then delete my file and then just remake more. That would be so sick. Anyway, so that was the Krusty Krab. Let's go back and see if there's anything else here. Want to make sure there's not a single reference I miss here. Y'all are probably going to roast me in the comments for missing something, to be honest. Oh, I remember this part. I remember this. Karate Island. Oh! <gasps> Karate Island! Yo! This is Karate Island when Sandy had to put on that little jumpsuit thing and then beat the shit out of everybody. To save Spongebob. Well, that's just the museum back there, but I get the reference. That was clever. I love that. More jellyfishes. Uh, that was a Krusty Krab. We were just in there. Duh. The Wishing Well. I remember this part. I remember that episode. The Krusty Krab Pizza Box! The rock that they rode to get back home. <laughs> Amazing. Y'all. I'm This island makes me so happy. This makes me so happy. Oh, I remember this episode. Oh my god. Hold on. I gotta remake it. <laughs> Wait, hold on. The other way. Other way. This was when, uh... Squidward thought Spongebob ate that exploding pie, and this is like their last moment on Earth. <laughs> that was amazing. And then they got a little telescope over here. Oh, binoculars, I mean. Ah, I'm stupid. This is just well done. Like, I've said that a million times already, but... Dude. This was uh, the Magic Conch Shell episode. <laughs> where all that food magically fell from the sky. I'm a Spongebob nerd, y'all don't know that, but Spongebob is my sh**.
This is incredible. I love it. So I'm gonna assume the other houses are like other parts of Bikini Bottom. I mean, no, no crap, obviously. Oh, this is Mrs. Paul's boating school area. And then the classroom is like in there. Oh man. Y'all done got me so happy. Y'all got me so happy. Look at that. That's the boating school classroom. That is spot on actually. That is like really good. The only issue is like it's obviously it's not in their control, but the room size. One thing that I really wish that, you know, this game did in terms of like uh, you know, design choices or whatever. They should have at least let us make rooms bigger or something. Or give it gave us more building options in the main island, you know. It's not the creator of the island's fault, but that would have been so dope if they could do that. This is... I'm gonna assume detention. I don't know for sure. I don't remember uh, any other rooms in the boating school aside from like Mrs. Puff's office or something. Oh, it's just a little, uh, chill area. Got some lockers and vending machines in here. Yeah, that's what you'd see in the school. And this other room. Oh my god. I, I can't rotate the camera. It's too, too naughty for YouTube. Oh! Oh, snap! This is the art school! And then they got the bold and brash right here. That doesn't belong in the trash at all. That was a cool little... That is smart, actually. Putting multiple schools inside uh, one particular school area. That is sick. That's sick. So what could be down here? A music class area? Very cool. I don't remember exactly... I don't know if it's just like a generic school room or if it's actually referencing something. I don't remember actual, you know, music school in Spongebob, but I could be mistaken. Unless this is the little band room from that Band Geeks episode? No, they didn't have that. I don't know. I don't really know. It's whatever, though. It's still a cool looking room, though. And let's check up here. What do we have over here? Okay, this is definitely referencing that. Yeah, this is <laughs> the bubble bowl. That is amazing. Yeah, this is when they sang uh, Sweet Victory. I love it. I love this. Guys, if you love SpongeBob, you gotta give this island a shot, seriously. This is probably my favorite island that I've ever been to. That is incredible. All right, so I think we've seen most of the island except for the right side, so. Oh, there's the uh, creator over there. Or at least one of the profiles they have. Oh, she's cosplayed as SpongeBob. Are you Squidward? <laughs> I got that reference too. That's so fun. That is so sick. Got a bike right there. I love the racetrack, actually. This is really cool. Well, not racetrack, but driving course area. Okay, let's go this way. I'm out here getting stuck. I think there's more stuff over to the right that I missed. Bikini Bottom. 
These are just like the residents. Trying to catch anything. Like everything here is just so well placed. Like I really have nothing bad to say about these this island. Like I'm not gonna come here and like critique anything. I'm just here to explore, but like this is beautiful. This is amazing. Oh hold on. Do I need a ladder? Something? Look at that, the little... Oh, sh Oh, snap. That's supposed to be Squidward's house. And then Squidward's right there. And then this is Patrick's Rock. I really found their house. This is SpongeBob's house. And I saw the little uh, bubble blowing stand. <laughs> wow. I'm at a loss of words here. If this is actually SpongeBob's bedroom up here. Oh, okay, it's not. <laughs> I was about to say, like, how are they gonna pull that off? Like, get the alarm or anything? So I think this might just be the creator's regular house at the time or something. Not, not that it's bad or anything, I just assumed it would be uh, Spongebob's house. Still looks really good though. Let's go down, see what's down here. We have... Nice little uh, basement area. Love it. See, this makes me just want to throw my whole island in the trash. Like, how can you, how can, oh, I did not mean to go up. How do you just make this beautiful, like, are we playing the same game? Cause I can't do any of this. I mean, I made a nice looking diner. Let's check back here. No, no self, no, no, no self deprecation here. We don't do that. We don't need that. Nice little bedroom. All right. So let's go on and get out of here before we uh, spend too much time. Want to make sure that I don't miss anything in particular outside. That was the housing area. I'm glad that we managed to catch uh, the street in time. This is Conch Street. I think that's the name that they live on. The name of the street they live on. And beware of ghosts. Oh no. Jellyfish fields! Yo. That is amazing. And there's like a bunch of them all over the place. Hello there. Welcome to the cuddly crap. Oh, that's the little suits they wore. That's amazing. That's the, <laughs> the wheelchair Squidward was in. And then Patrick stuck the jellyfish net in his tentacle. This is just incredible. Got a little outdoor area. I'm just like, this is... How do you top this? This is the pirate island where uh, Spongebob got that exploding pie. Oh, Squidward got the exploding pie from. This is just incredible. Sandy's little rocket ship where they went to space in that one episode. And this is, yeah, this is the jungle area we've been in. So I'm gonna assume that's everything? I think I went to everything. Yep, past everything. So this was absolutely incredible. I loved looking through this island. I saw the references, this island just made me super happy. And I'm glad that I was able to catch at least most of the references. Some of them I didn't understand, per se. Some of these could just be aesthetics. Oh, see, look at me. Almost, <laughs> almost ended off the video without seeing this, but I remember this part too. This was the giant clam. 
uh, from the zoo episode where he threw a peanut at him, I think. Yeah. This, this is just amazing. Like, I love everything about this island. All the references, all the attention to detail, the use of custom patterns, just everything was just amazing. And I'm glad that we were able to pick this as the first island. And we don't want to end off without saying that you guys can also submit islands that you have. If there's only cool ones that you've seen online that you have the dream address for. Or if you want me to tour your own island, comment down below and I will see you guys next week on Dream Tour Tuesday. I'm Firebro999 and you all have a good one. Yeah, let me, let me end it off with a bang actually. Hold on. <laughs> Turn around. Okay. Where's the...